Good morning, everybody. Welcome to today's episode of Sun Upon 7. It's time for our first conversation. The Belize City Council representatives are joining us on their educational campaign on their new upcoming project, which is the Parking Meters Pilot Project. So let's get to hear more about what this project is about and ask them the questions that everybody wants to know about how do they benefit and interact with this program. So let me introduce our guests today. We have Mr. Albert Van. Good morning, sir. Good morning. We have Mr. Kevin Jenkins. Good morning. And Mr. Jermaine Hyde. Good morning. Good morning, gentlemen. Thank you so much for joining us this Friday on our couch. Thank you for having us. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Awesome. So we're excited to hear about this pilot project. And how are we feeling? Feeling wonderful. Well, feeling dancey? Well, we, we understand today is wine. Yes, well, today, today, today is wine. wine. You yeah. might have to wine for the wine. <laughs> you see what I did there? You see what I yeah. did there? Gentlemen, at the ending of the segment, we'd love to be able to have a nice little yeah. song so they could wine in their seat. We're not getting the upper their seat. Because yeah. they're nice and pretty and just be able to do that. So... Love yeah. it. So I love how we agreed upon that just agreed. now. <laughs> <laughs> and so we'll get into the conversation now. Okay, so sure. probe up the people, get them excited yes, about what's yeah. happening. So Kevin posed a very interesting question because Chantel was talking about your parking meter. She got so excited, but why? Why should people even get excited about parking meters? So can you give me the excitement, the importance of why it is important to have a program of this magnitude? I am um, thanks again. Um, I'm sure I'm sure you work in Dong Tong here face the many challenges that people have parking finding parking space. Mm -hmm. <laughs> one of the I think one of the benefit from these parking meters, which is a project, a one-year project where we're doing it as a project and um, I guess we want participation so at the end of the year we can figure more or less how this thing affects us. Yeah. But I think one of the one of the um, benefit we're getting from it is the social impact of it. Hmm. The social impact of it that everybody who drives in this area will be able to have a parking space, which they don't have now. Yes. And I think that is important, how, right? How does, how does that work, though? Like, are you going to be creating more parking spaces? Because these parking spaces are limited. Well, well, again, uh, again, remember the city, the city does not provide parking uh -huh. for your for businesses, no? When your business apply for a trade license or a trip. They are, that come with that criteria. But we are talking about people coming, coming to Bil coming downtown Billy City or using BTL Park where, where, we are, where the other beta will be, actually enjoying the social impact of it. You now can park. No, you cannot park. Because it, by this time of the day, it is all the parking spaces are full by taxi, by, by reserve parking. And so that is one of the impact. Let me make the other managers uh, uh, win on that. Um, the location for the um, parking meters will be um, Albert Street, um, from Orange Street to Dean Street. Also, um, BTL Park area from um, Princess Exit Gate all the way to Midtown Restaurant. And um, the time for this parking meter will be from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m., Monday to Thursday. Fridays will be from 6 a.m. to 7 p.m., um, Friday and Saturdays, okay. and Sunday is, is free. Um, holidays are free. So anytime after 6 and 7 o'clock, you could park free again till 6 in the morning. And um, this, this meter will be um, um, cashless. You don't have to use no, no money in your pocket, but a card, a, 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 a card that you have to um, buy um, top up, and then you can use a card. You don't forget cash. Don't even forget the card. Then you have to buy an next card. Where, where do you get this card from? Um, starting um, the, the 4th of April, when we start the, um, the project, um, we have people on the site, they sell the cards. Okay. Also, we're also selling the cards at the Belize City Council's okay. um, offices, and also with, um, business within the area, stores within the area will also be selling the cards. Okay. Huh. And you'll be topping up this at uh, your local um, Local store, grocery store. Anywhere. Yeah, that, uh, that um, want to sell the cards for us. And more or less, how much would it be costing somebody to be able to park? 150 for 30 minutes, um, $3 per oh. hour. Yeah. And and that's, see, no, that's normally the general price where you would go yeah, to any yeah, parking and lot. See, and you know? see the, the next impact you have again, the, econ the economy mm -hmm. or the business era. Because if I want to use Brody's right now, and I go and I'm looking for a parking space, mm -hmm. right? I would have to go be behind Niche if I find parking space behind there. I would have to go at Dongtong Plaza. But that would allow Brody's customers to no drive up in that space, put in their card, get their time, 
go and shop in, knowing fully well that coming, you know, your space is reserved. So economically, again, yeah. we are benefit from it. Okay. The other, the other area, I think we are benefit because it is environmentally free. You know, they have to the circle and burn the mission and all and things. So, right? And uh, again, these meters work with solar, with solar energy, so it's friendly. So they charge those, up on everything. Yeah. You know, like I, yeah. I, 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 I'm still trying to wrap my head around this, given, given the, the fact that we're talking about you're not going to be going around far, finding parking spaces, but I'm still thinking there's limited parking spaces if we just reflect on Albert Street, for instance. So it's like a first come, first serve kind of thing. If you didn't, yeah, you yeah, still but, have to go but around you, but, but, but and, how long and would you find how parking. Long, but how long would you spend at the store? Really what depends. happened? What happened right now? These these people. They spend all day there, so they deprive you of parking. Okay. But if I go to the stores, well, she spend different from me. Eh? When my wife said, I just buy and I look for a price. I just pick up and go on, you know. So the, the most they are half hour. Okay. So you're paying for your half hour, you move out. Another citizen can have that space again. Right now, that is not happening in um, yeah. Dongtong. Dong, okay. Nor at the BTL park. All right. These, mm. these um, meters um, will be, um, every, every space or every vehicle will have a meter. Um, like for um, BTL Park era, you don't borrow, you're going to have like four meters. Okay. So you're parking, you park by license plate number and you enter license plate number in the system by license plate number. And you get a ticket and you put it on the dashboard of the vehicle. But you got four meters um, on the stretch. So you go to any one of the meters closest to where you park and um, put in your license plate numbers and punch in your information. The Albert Street one is that, um, again, it's not every space per meter, well, two meters per block. And um, you go by numbers. So uh, when you when you park, you look for the number of spot that you park in, and you enter the number um, in the meter. Um, however, um, the Albert Street one, you can if you if, if you go for one hour and you you punch for one hour was three three dollars, and you only um, stay thirty minutes, you can refund back that um, time. Okay. The BTL one, the BTL park one, you cannot refund back the time. Yeah. So you can get back the additional yeah. time. Say one, one of the things, um, looking at the, the meter that we use at, um, on, for Newton Barracks, uh -huh. it's multi-space, like Mr. Jenkins said, but also um, the residents would need to enter their license plates into the um, machine so that when the slip is printed, the license plate number is also printed on the slip that you put on your dashboard. Okay. And I, so this is a pilot project. So yeah. Yes, yeah. it's a it's pilot hear, project for a year. Know, like we're going to test how it like runs out. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm thinking, what are, what are future projections that the city council have? Um, in two things. One is zoning areas because we're seeing that as, as we zone out, then that comes with setting up parking spaces because I, in my mind, I'm thinking, yeah. for you to have a parking meter, there needs to be parking spaces, right? And, and we're noticing that there's a lot of commerce that is moving from Albert Street to more Philip Goals yeah. Highway. Yeah. So is there like any uh, any any thoughts on, on zoning and well, then how are you gonna be hence the reason for the consultation and this pilot project because the, the aim of the project is that within this year we get to collect as much data as possible. We sit down, we look at the information okay. that has been collected and then we see what would be viable areas to extend if there's a need to extend the project. Um, we've already looked at high um, trafficable um, high traffic area. Um, Central American Boulevard being one, Mahogany Street, so the, the area around the, um, the bus terminal. So all these mm -hmm. areas where we see a change in activity, right? We're, yeah. we're noticing it and like I said, we're testing um, the pilot project now and then depending on, on how viable it turns out to be, we move to other areas. We, we'll, be having a, we'll be having a consultation next week Thursday at the House of Culture and we, yeah. we want in particular um, business in the area, no? And people who have yes. concern, like what you have to attend this meeting, because okay. that information, all those information will be flowing there, you know. I think the time now at 6 o'clock, 6 30 or 6 o'clock. I think it's 6 o'clock is it is the time for that meeting. So we, we invite, we, okay. we invite even the media to come and all so right. we could get those information from our technical people. Some, some viewers are asking in regards to the taxi designated areas. So where will they go? Will those naturally just stay as is or will you be opening well, up? Because some people, yeah, you know, yeah. can say, yes, we know we want well, to park to them, one of the, they need to take a parking spot. Uh, oh! One of the process, <laughs> one of the process the council have done was to consult the businesses in both BTL Park and Albert Street. And the taxi is part of that. And when I say the taxi, I mean only the taxi in front of Brody's. Okay. Not the original one that stays at the, at the Battlefield Park. 
Okay. They won't be affected. Just the one in front of Brody's will be affected. And we we have worked with them. We have found a new place for them. They will be just off um, Church Street, which is still downtown era. And they happily agreed that we didn't, no problem at all. So yes, we did consult with them and we did find a replacement for them. So, really, so. Okay. And so in the process, right? So with, with every ball, our viewers will walk down this alley, we find a parking spot. Woohoo! All right. But for people that spend hours and hours in our parking spot, they'll be like basically... Like when you go shopping with Renata. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't got to say it like that. But, you know, we, we got to maximize our hours. <laughs> so for, for, for people that want to spend maybe three, four hours or so forth, they pay for one hour though. What happens then? Do they get charged? What, what's going to be happening that's, in that yeah. process where that's they're going to spend all the extra time where they're not supposed to spend, yeah, yeah. Kevin, and that happens? <laughs> Once the meter expired, you should get a traffic ticket. Oof. Okay. So, <laughs> um, it, 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 the, at the time, the, the officer um, could use his discretion if I'm going to write the ticket and you come at the same time and say, you know what, I'd come to... Um, Put more credit in my in the meter. Then the officer will say, "Okay, go ahead, put your credit." But if 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 it, it, it expired, then boom, you'll get a traffic ticket. Yeah. So I think in that bet, it would be safer if we said, just in case I never know, make I pay for three hours, and if I come back, then I can possibly get my discount. So well, on, and, my and and the beauty only. about the, the, yeah. the ones on Albert Street only. is yeah. you get back your time if if um you don't use the entire time slot that you. you oh, get. that's pretty so. cool. I, there's there's no way how you can escape that system because you already have your license plate entered into exactly. it. Exactly. Right? So if it expires, your license plate is already registered. So <laughs> there's no way how you're going to run away from but it. But you get the ticket. Will it be like just, you know, when you used to meet that prettily ticket on top of your car? Or is it more like because it's more electronic right now that they will send something to you? How does that maneuver when it comes to receiving your ticket? Because people will ball and say, well, I never know. I never receive a ticket. I never yeah. see anything. So... How is yeah, that set up? Well, you will receive a traffic ticket just like we put it physical under the, copy. Yes, just like we put it on the windshield under the um, wiper, physical copy. And um, if anybody take it off, we also send a reminder that you have to get a ticket. So yeah. you will know you get a ticket. Perfect, because people can always balance. I never get no ticket. Yeah. I know what it's about. Yeah, Mr. Hyde, can you please enlighten me? I've, I've, I, I love the fact that you mentioned that you're doing consultations yes, as yes, part of this yes, process. Yes, yes. And that's really, really important um, in getting to know, you know, what's everybody's feel and how do we move forward. How, how many consultations have you done so far? And what has been the general feedback, not of business owners, but of the users, of the Belize City residents? We've, we've conducted, I think, uh, um, about three consultations okay. um, in the different areas. Uh, for um, the ones for Dong Tong, um, We've included all the, the business owners, um, the banks, um, the taxi, the presidents of the taxi association. So they've all been a part of the conversation because like you rightly said earlier, we have a limited amount of space. And so when we were, um, re were relocating these taxis and removing some of the par um, private parking that were out here, we had to bring them to the table and let them know what we were doing and, and the, the, the outcome that we wanted, right? And when you get everybody to be a part of the discussion, then they buy into the program and, and they, they embrace it. And you have that, that less of a resistance from, from people. So um, we've done the same thing, um, in including the business owners, some of the um, owners from the call centers in Newton Barracks, they have been a part of our, okay. our consultation as well. We've had residents from the area as well, from Newton Barracks, who have sat in our consultation. And, and they've had that opportunity to disclose some of their, what they're feeling. The Park Vendors Association um, for, for DigiPark, their president has been a part of this as well. Because we know if we're going to put these uh, meters out there, it's going to affect um, the, the economic situation in the park. Right? So we want to make sure that everybody has that opportunity to, to get their voice heard and, and be a part of the, the process all right definitely because yeah. i know for people yeah. that have to have their car parked there all day long because they have a business yeah. establishment or etc yeah. i mean that means yeah. they want to spend yeah. at least there, money there were, a day there were a few concerns um and i think we have addressed that most immediately like for instance the heritage bank that's a bank that i don't know if you have savings there right but that's a bank that people goes to do financial transaction mm -hmm. so money has to go in and money has to come out and so we, 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 we work with the bank to say, listen, we won't make in front of your business a parking space. 
we'll make it a drop off and pick up points. So you can move in there, bring your money, move in there, take out your money, and you have that. But it is not for parking. Okay. It's not for parking. We address the taxes already. We have people who pay preferential parking. Preferential parking is at $100 a month. A month, yes, right? Yes. <clears throat> and so that means these people will have to give up their space front of their store, but it will be for the benefit that their customers awesome. can now move. So all those had come up, and we have addressed those, right? There are some, there is a money land, I'm sorry, a money in store that they go with these credit stores. And we work with the owner and say, right, we will make the uh, street as, you know, available to you. So you you know, interrupt your business, but it gives your customers no a parking spot. So drive up there, put in only half hour, carry your goals, bangles, go spa and that out, or go get Lee money for this, for this wine thing, we're going to have this, you know. You stood up on this wine thing, you're right? <laughs> and I hope they want to have a song ready for you because you need to wine for you, wine. Yeah, so um, <laughs> that, that was a very important question. Um, you have to consult. Yeah. And you have to keep on consulting. And exactly. because this is a pilot project, we want everybody to be involved. Because after, after, when, when this pilot comes to an end, we want to look at all the data. We want to put everything together to see, all right, what we get out of this whole need to enhance it, you know? And so consultation is yeah. very, very important and we continue doing right. that. So We're consulting right now with the media <laughs> right. helped us. Definitely. So as, as, as we wrap up this conversation, um, so we're saying April 4th is, yes. is when it starts. Yes. April 4th yeah. is a one-year pilot project. We're gathering as much information as we can so that afterwards we can look at other areas in the city. All right. And, and what's the overall feel of the municipality? Are, are, are they excited? They feel like it's going to be something yeah, promising. Well, people happy that they parking. Well, yeah, what's the general <laughs> vibe? I think, that, I think that is it. Yeah. And people are happy that we, we, we listen to the cry because yeah. this has been a concern for a while now. So we're addressing, um, we're addressing this. And what we want to do is to move the city towards a smart city. Um, it's happening. It's happening globally. So we want to make sure that Belize City is not one of those municipalities that is left behind. Yeah. We want to be at the forefront. So we're there. Um, yes, I, you were talking just now about the, the launch um, for the, the, um, that BL did. Again, these are steps that you're seeing moving the city towards being a smart city. And so we want Belize City to be there and, and we want our residents to be a part of that process with us. Yeah. You got Chantel excited when she heard parking, <laughs> parking meters. I feel a lot of people are excited because the idea, again, well, get parking, that they were struggling in a life. You're just, yeah. for some reason, they're always a struggle. And I guess the ticket will appear on the top of your car. So just know it's going to be there. It's definitely yeah. going to be there. But thank you so much, gentlemen, definitely. for being here, thank for giving you, us the you. update. April 4th, guys, on a need for get on a card, Ian, on a have to pay for these things, and on a can't just pretend and pop up and say, I did park here, and I just put me money at the top of the card. They don't do it like that. So <laughs> please make sure you get out and get your card. Actually, put money in your car so don't get no empty card and not have no money in it. Card don't work, so eat a honey bun. But thank you so much. Do we have the music for these gentlemen for do Ali wine for the wine? Do we have it? Yeah. Yes, and so we wind, we wind off what into the sunset into and go. Sunset. Okay. <laughs> and when we're back, we're going to be your talking about either. customized sneakers. Artists are defying all things out there and they're creating <laughs> art on sneakers. So if you got white sneakers, black sneakers, whatever it is, and you want it to be bright and enlivened, we have that for you as well. So stay tuned for that exciting demonstration conversation. We'll be right back. You want to wine for the wine? No, no. Now you want for the wine. Wine, wine. That's a good That's song. A good it's song. a really good really song. Yeah. Good song. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.